Coming up, practice begins today for high school athletes in Minnesota. We'll tell you how the pandemic will change the way they'll play winter sports. Plus, we show you how one local bar helped a family after they lost their home to a fire. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Rapid City Police have arrested a suspect in connection with a deadly shooting on Christmas Eve. 21-year-old Elias Richard is charged with second-degree murder in the death of Vernal Marshall. The shooting took place in the 1000 block of Silverleaf Avenue in Central Rapid City. Three other people, 42-year-old Mesheka Barnett, 20-year-old Caleb Lucas, and 19-year-old Clint Marshall are also charged with what police call offenses related to the incident. Sioux Falls police are investigating an armed robbery at a business on the west side of the city over the weekend. The call came around 1.30 Saturday morning for a robbery at a pizza delivery business in the area of 26 and Marion. Police say a subject threatened employees with a weapon and demanded money. He took the money and ran off westbound from the business. No one was hurt. The robber is described as a white male, around 5 feet tall, with a slender build, wearing a black ski mask and a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and tennis shoes. If you have information, call Crime Stoppers at 367-7007. Sioux City Police have identified the 18-year-old woman who died after several shots were fired into a home where a New Year's party was being held. Police say Maya Kritis of Sioux City died after the shooting early Friday morning. Officials say multiple guns were fired into the home during that shooting. Four other people were injured, but police didn't identify them because they are all juveniles. None of their injuries are believed to be life-threatening. Police say the investigation is ongoing and the department encouraged witnesses to come forward. Well, turning to weather now, 2021 is starting off with some warmer temperatures. Let's find out how warm it could get with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, good morning, you two. Good morning, everybody. We are looking at temperatures that hit the 30s and 40s today, even a chance for 50-degree weather across western South Dakota. And then we'll have to watch for our snow chances, maybe Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning. But in the meantime, we'll have, oh, mostly sunny skies today and those warm temperatures. There's that snow chance by Wednesday. Once that moves through, we are looking at dry skies and cooler temperatures for the coming weekend. More details on the forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. All right, thank you, Scott. Well, high school sports in Minnesota are able to resume practice today, but the winter sports season will be like no other with new requirements for players. The Minnesota State High School League is allowing member schools to start practicing today and compete in games starting January 14th. The league is allowing guidance for put forth by a new document released by the Department of Health. It requires mask usage by all participants during practices and competitions with the exception for sports where masking may cause additional safety concerns. However, basketball and hockey players must wear masks while competing. We're excited to go and, you know, it's been a long time coming and, and uh, I know, you know, our seniors are really excited and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. I, I just hope that if this is what it takes to keep us safe and keep us without having to, you know, be quarantined and, and, and miss games throughout the course of the season because we have a positive case or whatever, uh, we're going to do whatever that takes to, to make sure we have a season. Coaches say their p players will follow the rules because they just want to play this year. If you would like to see more information on the new guidance for high school sports in Minnesota, you can find a link attached to this story on Kelloland.com. On Christmas Day, the Sioux Falls home of Jeb and Jessica Christensen went up in flames and they lost their beloved golden retriever, Piper. Yesterday, the Crow Bar, where Jeb Christensen has bartended for the past six years, hosted a fundraiser in support of his family. People have been rallying behind them through donations of money, baby clothes and toys. Jeb and Jessa were there to greet their friends and family who came out to wish them well. It makes this whole situation a lot easier knowing we have so many people here for us and supporting us. It definitely yeah. helps a lot. We have a lot of to come enjoy the day and you know, it's kind of fun to be able to do it this way rather than just uh, you know, setting up the GoFundMe and just this way we can actually thank people for you know, everything they're doing. And Great Bear Ski Valley hosted a ski race today to raise money for Emily's Hope, an organization started by Kelly Lance Angela Kennecke. This is the third year Great Bear has raised money for the charity, which helps educate people about addiction and works to take down financial barriers to receiving treatment while helping people stay with the recovery they need. 
today they've raised four hundred and twenty dollars for Emily's Hope, which is just um, it's incredible to see this kind of support in our community for our cause. And we are so grateful to see this race grow every year. The donation amount has grown every year and we're just able to help more people because of that. So we like to um, give back to the community that gives so much to us. You know, the races are a fun, you know, low stress thing for both kids and adults to come out, you know, see, test their skills, some friendly competition, and then raise money for a good cause um, while we're doing it. Great Bear will host ski races on Sundays all through the season to help raise money for local organizations. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Well, let's get one last look at your weather now with meteorologist Brian Carsons. Good morning, Brian. All right. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. Well, weather today features more sunshine. That will feel pretty nice. And uh, a wind out of the west, and that's just enough to kind of stir things up and keep our temperatures at or above normal. Now, tomorrow, we do see a change in the weather. A southeasterly wind comes back to the forecast. That'll feature some cloud cover increasing a bit. And also with that comes the chance of a little bit of rain or snow in the air come Tuesday night into early Wednesday. And in fact, eventually that system, as it pushes east, probably will change mostly to a nuisance snow. But accumulating snow is part of the forecast. We'll keep an eye on that. As uh, we get into Wednesday, I would expect some of those roads to get coated with snow and certainly an impact there. The first initial snow forecast on this one is kind of a one to three uh, from that axis from Aberdeen to Sioux Falls. Again, we'll continue to watch that here today and let you know if there are any changes on that. 41 are high this afternoon. Chamberlain 50 Rapid City, so certainly warming up out there. Lows tonight are generally in the teens in the east, 20s west. And tomorrow, with that southeast wind, we're still going to warm to 36 in Sioux Falls and mid and upper 40s for Pier. Seven-day forecast. Chance of snow is probably the big highlight on Wednesday. And then as that wraps up Thursday, not a lot of wind expected behind this one. It looks like temperatures may still hold in the 30s. Uh, we'll continue to watch that, but I don't expect any major cooling. Likewise, Aberdeen, chance of snow Wednesday, followed by slightly cooler weather and pier in central South Dakota. Your chance of precipitation is a little lower Wednesday and then following that probably mid and upper 30s. But for January levels, still not too bad. And Rapid City cools a little bit into the 40s as well. Check out the latest details with our Storm Center update right now at Kettleland.com.